Hello viewers, how are you today? God loves you. He loves you so much, that's why he gave his only begotten son to rescue you from sin so that you can be with him for eternity. Viewers, here we are on a, a transit. This is not our home. This is not our country. We are on a transit. Soon we are going home. Are you ready? Prepare yourself and prepare somebody, if not your family or a friend or somebody to go with you. God bless you and do what you can. Through the word of God, you can be ready to meet Jesus when he comes. Before, before we go deeper, let us have a word of prayer. Eternal Father, we come before the throne of majesty. We are very thankful that you have given us this time to tell before the throne of majesty and the land from you. Prepare us to meet you, you, to meet you when you come, Lord. Help us with our families. Guide us through this narrow way. Alone we cannot make it. But with you, Christ, we will be more than conquerors. Help our viewers and our listeners. Protect them from all dangers, Lord. Especially the danger which is out now. Lord, keep us safe. As we enter into thy word, Lord, we invite you to be in the midst of us. Begin with us and finish with us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. Now, viewers, Today we are reading from the book of uh, Psalms. We are reading from the book of Psalms 34 from verse 7. The word of God says like this, The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them, that fear him and delivered them. Verse 8 O test and see that the O test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Verse 9 O fear the Lord. Ye saints, of, of, ye saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Let, us, let me repeat that first. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The Lord is good. All the time the Lord is good. Let us read again from the book of Psalms, Psalms 91, Psalms 91, there's a word there which we want to, to cling on, Psalms 91 verse 14 and 15. The word of God says like this, Because 
He had set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him because he has known my name. I will deliver. Those are promises. Those are promises which God has given us. We need to claim them. They are ours. We need to claim them. We need to be uh, to ask God about these promises. He's the one who promised, not us promising him. He's the one who promised. And he's ready to fulfill his promise. We are, we are not going to, to ask him. He's not a man. He is God. He's ready to fulfill his promises. They are there for us to claim them. So before you do anything to yourself, go to God and claim his promises. There are many, many this Bible has got many pro, uh, promises. My Bible is full of promises, and I hope your Bible also is full of promises. Claim them. This is the time to claim God's promises. Uh, before I talk, I said about my friends, my good friends, young girl, how God rescued them from traveling to faraway countries to work. Because of, Corona is a, it's a, it's a disaster, but it is a, a blessing in disguise to other people. Like now, my, my friend's family, it was a, a blessing because it stopped their daughter from going with their friends to the country which they don't know. So that is a blessing. I, I really supported my good friends. I supported her to give thanks to God. We give thanks to God. When God has done something good for you, please give thanks to God. Say, God, thank you. You have done this for me. Huh? God is happy when we give him thanks. So we give thanks to, him, to, to God through prayers, and even through, uh, through material things, uh, offering to help other people learn more about God. So, indeed we do not forget to, to give thanks. He had helped us, he had answered our prayer, so we had to give thanks back to him. And Christ is the only one who can change things. He creates and he can change. There's nobody who can change except him. He's able to save from the uttermost. If you go down deep in the, in the dark, God is there. If you go up, God is there. He's the creator and is the king of the universe. So there's no place you can hide yourself. And there's no place where God can not save from. So it is for us to ask for him, our creator, to help us. He cannot help us if we don't ask. And he cannot keep quiet if we ask. From there, one day, I woke up very early in the morning, going to work in the, in the garden before school time. Woke up very early. It was, uh, it 
it was a very clear it was a clear night with moon shining so i thought it was already time for going to to, to the garden i woke up very early in the morning people were sleeping and unfortunately, I, where I was going, I was going to cross the river. Then I go on the other side of the river to work there. So I was alone. I walked down the, the narrow path. When I was approaching the river, I had, I had like a, Something was running down, down, down to the river, like an animal, and I was afraid. I hid myself in the small bush which was around, which, which was there. So, when that animal came near where I was hiding, it was like a... Uh, she was, she had smelled, it has smelled something. Now he was looking where that smell comes from. I didn't know that it was a hyena. But I had nothing to do. I had no weapon. The weapon I had is on in my hole, which, which I was going to use for digging. And you know, it is very frightening. I was alone, people were sleeping, I was going to dig in the shower, in the garden. So I said, God, God, please help me, save me. In my trembling heart, I was really trembling. All of a sudden, I had many people a cloud, a multitude of people making noise, a lot of noise from up the hill, up to hill, running down. They were chasing this and this beast. They were chasing this beast. Many, yani a multitude of people, and sometimes we are like uh, a, a lot of water running down the hill. I said, now, this, what is this? But when I had that multitude, my heart came down. I felt good. I felt safe. So they chased that animal. I saw the animal on the other side of the, of, of the, of the river. It has crossed the river. It's on the other side of the river. Now I knew that I was safe. Uh, I, kept, I, I, I stayed there where I hid myself. I, I, I stayed there for, a, for, a, for some few... I, I stayed for a while because it was dark until I saw the light. Now the moon has, set, has gone. I saw the light, a light which shows me that it is now morning, it has come, the day has come. The day has come up. Now I came out of my hiding place. I went to the other side of the hill where the hyena went, to, I, went I was going to dig there. Uh, after digging the, the garden, I came back to the house. I told my parents what had happened. My, my parents were so sad, they asked me why I, why I should wake up very early in the morning. And go. I said, no, I don't have, no, I didn't even know anything about the watch. No, we heard about the, the cock crew, but we know that we, are, we were, the time, this is the time. So I, I had no way to, to see, and I had to go to the garden before I go to school. So when it, my father wanted to see those people who were chasing this beast so that he can give thanks to them, he went to, to where I told I had the voice coming from. He went to that area. He asked, did you chase the, 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 the hyena 
today morning is anybody heard about the Aina and went to chase it? They said, no, we have never heard of that. In short, my father asked the families around that area if they had or they came out to just the Aina that morning and nobody had the proof. Nobody knew anything about that. So I know those were the angels of God. The angels rescued my life that very morning. And it was a terrible for young, it was a, a, a very strong noise, a very strong for, uh, shout. It was more the shout of uh, people, how they can shout. So I thank God so much that the angels rescued my life that night, that morning. And that is why I'm before you giving this testimony. God can save you from anywhere. God can save you from anywhere. See the verses we have read today. God is able to save you from anywhere. Anybody who calls upon his name in, in sincerity, God will listen and save you from your problems. May God bless you up to this end and keep you and keep on trusting in the Lord. He will never forsake you. For today, I say goodbye. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus.